welcome to our tour. The theme of this tour is to become a university student in Korea. Are you ready to know about university students in Korea? Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before we start, let's introduce ourselves. I go first and point to the next person. Uh, hello, I'm Shihan, your tour guide for today, and I'm a senior, senior at Changshin Women's University. Let's have a great day. And Yunji, can you introduce yourself? Oh, hi, I'm Yunji, working in the guiding department. I am a sophomore in Korea University, majoring in materials science and engineering. I hope you guys have a great time with us. Oh, hi, guys. My name is Sena. I'm a freshman in college and majoring in geography. Oh, I really hope everyone enjoyed this tour. Thank you. Hello, my name is Hyunyoung. I'm in the PR production department at Seoul. I am a third year student at Bumin University. I hope you enjoy our tour today. Nice to meet you. Hi, welcome to show. My name is Eden and I'm 22 years old in Korean age. I'm in charge of planning department at Seoul. Let's enjoy this tour together. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sin Young. I'm a Gongung University's History Department student, and I hope you have a nice time. Thank you. And Kishin can you introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. So my name is Kishin de la Cruz, or you can just call me Kishi. I know my name is still. <laughs> uh, I'm actually a graduate already, so three years ago. So. <laughs> I'm 23 years old, and it's nice to be here in this room. Hi, Charlie. Oh, oh. Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Vaishali Gupta, and uh, like you can just call me Vaishali. It's my first name, and I'm from India, and here I'm doing my master's in Korea. Oh. And, oh. <laughs> let's, have a, let's have fun. I mean, nice to meet you all. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so from now on, shall we start the tour? This is the first table of contents. We'll find out about school jackets. Korean university students often wear hakdam, which shortens school jacket, and pajam, which shortens department of school jacket. So do you have your own hakdam or pajam? Casey or Vashali? I have one, but it's in the university, I mean, in the lab. Ah, really? Then let's take a look at the characteristics of each school's jacket from now on. First, let's find out about the school jacket of Sokjong Women's University. There are many black and white combinations of Hakdam and Kwadam. The Hakdam of Doksung Women's University has various colors such as light pink and light blue. In the case of Sangshin Women's University, the school's symbol logo, the crystal ball, is engraved on the right arm, as the first initial consonant of Sangshin Women's University is written on the front part. And then let's find out what kind of activities we do with the jacket on. In this picture, you can see students sit on a mat and have a picnic on the lawn of Sangshin Women's University wearing jackets and having a picnic on the lawn. In this picture, you can see the chief of the club wearing a school jacket and going to see cherry blossoms. Moving on to the next, let me introduce Korean University's festival this time. So, Kishi or Vashali, did you go to the festival this time? School festival? No, in my university, we didn't have any festival since the time I have come. I think because of COVID, there have been oh. restrictions. Oh, really? Okay, let's go there next time. <laughs> and Korean universities hold festivals once in the spring and once in the fall season of school, where they open department booths and enjoy the celebrating invitation stage together. As you can see, there is many simple games, foods, and rings. In Songjin Women's University, handcraft accessories bags made from students was a mega hit. Popular items were sold in an hour. University special festival cultures. 
Kongo, Kongo University is famous for their big lake named Ilgamu, inside of the university, like the picture. During festival season, school allows people to go on a boat, and school's Aqu Aquanauts Club lends boats to people. It is 10,000 won per hour. This event is popular because it is only held for three days per year, so a lot of people participate. It's time to talk about drinking cultures. First, let's go over different alcohols in Korea. Soju differs from region to region in Korea. In Seoul, mainly Tamyuzu and Jillo are representative. There is a slight difference in taste, so each person has a different type of soju they like. If you visit areas like Busan, you will be able to find Daeson and Siwonbulu, which is only sold in the area. In Jeju Island, they sell Hallasan and Jeju Wittuil. And just like Daeson and Siwonbulu, Hallasan and Jeju Wittuil are only sold at Jeju Island. Now let's go over to our next topic, mixed liquids. Koreans like mixing alcohols with other drinks or liquids. It is important to match the proportions as the taste changes depending on the proportion. A typical example is somek. To make somek, we mix soju with beer. Beside these types of alcohols, we have boksosok, which we mix Korean blackberry, black raspberry liquor with soju and Sprite. There is no proportion for this alcohol. We just mix up the liquids and drink it. Now let's see some popular foods that we eat while drinking. Oh, there are chicken feet with and without bones, and you can eat them according to your taste. Have you guys tried chicken feet then? Actually, yes, we do have a dish. Uh, we call it actually Adidas. We play games while drinking to raise the mood, and the loser usually drinks alcohol as a penalty. Tombyong game is a simple game using your fingers. We take turns saying certain conditions, and those who meet them must fold their fingers. The player who folds five fingers the fastest loses. So, for example, if I say the one who attends Songshin Women's University folds your finger, then Anna and Xion has to fold their fingers. So next up, penalties. We usually drink alcohol as a penalty, but there are also other fun penalties. Examples include drinking mixed liquids, uh, drinking, uh, singing one verse of a song, and dancing. So now we are going to play a game. We are going to play Songbyong Ok game, the finger game that I just explained. So I'll go first and pick the next person to speak. Uh, the one who doesn't use iPhone, hold their fingers. Fold a finger if you're wearing glasses. I said. Fold your fingers if you don't have bangs. Uh, fold your finger if you have long hair. <laughs> Is uh, it long? Too uh, long. Too <laughs> long. <laughs> oh. Fold your finger if you are wearing a university jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Fold your finger if you are having fun. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, Fold your finger who the one who doesn't have a perm. Yeah, perm. Uh. Hold your finger if you're not wearing a school jacket. <laughs> okay, Kishi and Vashali will sing the BGM. One, two, three, four. Okay, and in Kishi's turn. 
This was it for today. I hope you guys had a great time with us. Yes, we did. Thank you. <laughs> Because it's nice to meet everyone.